In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the lang attribute in HTML to define the language of your complete HTML page or the specific elements in the page. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So to get started, I just have a simple HTML page created up here in the code. Down below is how it renders in a browser. And we're going to use the lang attribute, which basically just tells browsers what the default language is of a page. And you always want to associate at least one lang attribute with your HTML tag at the very top. The way we do that, we type or we click into that tag and we type lang equals, and then what the default language is on that page. So in my case, it's English. But you can also further define that as English US, English Canada, English uh, Australia, English UK. Uh, so you can define the English specifically to which country, um, to which or which dialect, I guess, of English you're speaking. Or you can just have EN for English. So this will apply to all elements on the page. So I'll inherit it automatically. If we save this page or save that file and refresh this page, nothing changes, nothing at all. It's just the browser will detect as being English, that's all. So what we can also do, like I said, that, that applies to, or it's inherited by all other elements. If we have elements on the page that are a different language, we can actually apply the lang attribute to those elements. So this first paragraph is in English, but the second one is in German. So we can type into or click into that paragraph tag and type in lang equals de for German. Save this page, refresh this page. Again, nothing happens, but the browser now knows that this piece right here is German. Search engine crawlers that visit this page will determine that this is German as well based on the lang, and they may treat that content a little differently maybe rank a little higher in, in the German search because there's German on the page. And just to show you an example of the browser detecting what we're doing here, if we set this lang to French, for example, FR, save this page, refresh this page, we have the Google Translate thing pop down because I'm using Google Chrome, it's built right in. So it's detecting based on this lang attribute that the page is French, and it's asking whether I want to translate it. I have no French on the actual page, but this lang attribute tells the Google Chrome that the page is French, but it knows I'm located in Canada. So I speak English, so it's asking if I want to translate. And that's how easy it is to use the lang attribute in your HTML. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.